It's locked. I grew up playing the Nancy Drew PC games, and not to sound obsessed, but I have literally played every single one of these games at least three times each, except the Shattered Medallion, which somehow escaped me entirely. Today we're going to explore the company behind these games, and why exactly they haven't released a new one in almost four years. In 1998, a small company named Her Interactive, then a subdivision of American Laser Games, released Nancy Drew Secrets Can Kill. The graphics left a little to be desired, but the game was a success. And after releasing a staggering two games per year for the next 16 years, these games became pretty ubiquitous in a lot of people's childhoods. They were challenging, had fun characters and difficult puzzles, and genuinely interesting mysteries. And then they just stopped making them. The Nancy Drew well had run dry. Their 33rd game has been in production for the past four years, so what happened? come in handy later. To understand the fall of Her Interactive, let's first look at how they were structured. The company worked out of a single office of between 30 to 50 people and kept almost every aspect of production in-house. Every Nancy Drew game they've released since the company's conception has used the same voice actress Lonnie Manella. Hi, I'm Nancy. Dear Ned, we're here at Castle Malloy. Games which varied in location but were stylistically and thematically all but identical. Now, I don't want to be too critical, I really enjoy these games. Some of them are well written, and the ones that aren't are still, you know, at least fun. Sure, you might see the same puzzles with different skins from time to time, or notice how the stories are all pretty much the same. Nancy is either hired by someone grossly incompetent, or stumbles onto a mystery by chance during her world travels, and takes it upon herself to solve a sometimes centuries-old mystery within about three days tops. Each game is structured in the same way. Nancy travels to the game's location, the mystery is introduced during the opening monologue or cutscene, Nancy meets all the characters and then solves the mystery, usually after uncovering a final hidden location. From playing the first game to the most recent, the design and gameplay remain remarkably similar. Sure, the inventory system and addition of cell phones and a journal are added in more recent releases, but for the most part, the static point-and-click gameplay and artwork stay the same. However, this isn't to say that every game in this series is created equal. Some games, like Curse of Blackmore Manor and Secret of Shadow Ranch, are far superior in storytelling and puzzle design than others, like Creature of Kapu Cave. The reason for each game's similarity was largely due to the fact that Her Interactive used their own proprietary game engine for every Nancy Drew game released since its founding in 1998. And when the demand for mobile versions of their games increased, Her Interactive found itself unable to successfully port their existing games to mobile without a reduction in quality. Their first attempt at a mobile Nancy Drew game was a Shadow Ranch rework that played as a hidden object game rather than a point and click and so began what ultimately caused Her Interactive to stall for four years in releasing a new game, migrating to a new engine, Unity. Oh yeah, shit, one second. Okay, there we go, sorry about that. Unity is an engine used by such classics as PewDiePie, Legend of the Brofist, and Family Guy Online, and also the Stanley Parable, Subnautica, and City Skylines. What I'm trying to say is that this is a very popular game engine. Dozens of developers use the engine every year for their games, but asking a small studio of insulated game developers to learn and use a completely different system in less than a year, on top of laying off half the staff in one day, was asking a lot. Oh yeah, they laid off half the staff in one day without warning. In 2011, CEO Megan Gazer was replaced by Stuart Mulder, who had experience in the business side of video games. I'm Megan Geyser. And I'm Stuart Mulder. Together we run Her Interactive. Her Interactive pioneered video games designed specifically for girls and women. And back when we started, there were virtually no games designed for them. When we took the first Nancy Drew game to publishers, they told us games were for boys and the girls wouldn't play them because girls were computer phobic. But they weren't computer phobic. They just needed games that were specifically built for them. 
At the time Mulder took over, the studio was losing money. From unsuccessful attempts at cross-platform releases, royalties paid to book publisher Simon & Schuster, who owned the right to the Nancy Drew property, and advertising with limited success. And then, three years later, Mulder suddenly stopped showing up to work. Looking back on his departure, he has this to say. I didn't handle my departure well. I was embarrassed. It was just... Ugh. Ugh, indeed. Because after Mulder left, Penny Milliken took over. And fans did not like Penny Milliken. Once Milliken took over, the real changes began. Lonnie Manella, the voice of Nancy for almost 20 years, was let go. Her interactive wanted someone who sounded younger. Newer games were delayed for release on Steam and sold only on her interactive's own website. Oh, and if you ever wanted to re-download your game, you had to pay a $6 extended download fee. To be fair to Milliken, this was a policy before she took over that continued until recently, when all games became available on Steam. And in 2015, the layoffs. More quit in the months that followed, and acting now with only a skeleton crew, Midnight in Salem was looking less and less likely for an on-time release. And for the past three and a half years, her interactive has been without a new game. The launch date for Midnight in Salem moved from 2016 to spring of 2019, marketing became infrequent and mentioned mid less and less, and threads on her interactive's forums regarding the game disappeared entirely. The marketing team promised a bigger and better game. Does that sound familiar? 16 times the detail. And virtual reality. But don't worry, it'll still run on Windows XP. And that brings us to today. At the time I'm writing this, Midnight in Salem has a current release date of November 2019. The game shop page on the Her Interactive website has an entire two screenshots and a gameplay trailer running 11 seconds and featuring a breathtaking three seconds of gameplay. Well, not actual gameplay, but like a cutscene at least. You couldn't leave it alone, could you? Her Interactive has hosted a blog since 2006, and reading through the posts regarding Mid, well, it's just kind of sad. In 2016, they posted the first character art for Mid, then in 2017, they quietly admitted they were outsourcing elements of the new game, but both said they were doing that the whole time and refused to share exactly what elements were outsourced. Then a long two-year wait, followed by character art for Jenna Ravencraft, no, sorry, Olivia Ravencroft? Then a hidden clue indicating there would be an update on May 20th, but as far as I know, that didn't happen. Then character art for Frank and Joe Hardy. And then on August 16th, we got our very first gameplay screenshots after more than a three-year wait. And that's where we are now. Mid goes on pre-sale on October 1st and will be released November 19th, maybe. And maybe it'll come out fine. And the magic won't be lost. But honestly, I can't hate her interactive too much. It was simply too beautiful for this world, and it had to die. Self-immolating, in a blaze of broken promises, the silence of a once incredibly prolific company deafening. Can we really hate a company that brought us 32 adventures spanning almost two decades? It was hard to imagine the end of Nancy Drew, but I think I'm ready to accept it. Guys, I don't know if 33 will ever come out, and if it does, it might be the worst. But let's just remember the good times and smile because it happened. Our fans have learned to never give up.